What's up, YouTube? Zombie Kangaroo here, and I want to tell you about a program called Trade. Now, what Trade does is pretty much if you got cluttered uh, start bar space right here, so you got too many windows up and everything. What this does is it minimizes whatever windows you choose to the system tray icon. So it pretty much makes a little icon like one of these. So especially for if you have a custom firmware PSP and you are constantly downloading RAR files and unzipping them and you don't feel like constantly closing and reopening WinRAR, this is a great, great program for you. So I'm going to give you this uh, URL in the description here. Just go here and download this. <clears throat> okay, and then just save the file. Okay, then it'll say download complete if you're running in Firefox or whatever. So let's go ahead and minimize that. And I saved it to my desktop, but I don't want to keep it on my desktop, so we're just going to cut it and put it in the file that you want. Okay, so we're going to put it in, you don't have to do this, this is all optional, this is just for, you know, storage preferences and organization. As you can see, I'm a very organized person. Not. Um, okay, so just paste it right in there. And then wherever you have it, finally, just hit extract all. Next. Next. It will extract. Then unclick that, finish. Okay, then try it, 465, open it up, and run this. And then hit run. And right there, you'll get an icon. You can exit out of this. And then just double click it to open it up. Now you got this window. Okay, now that you have this window up, um, these are your programs that are running right now. So, let's say, for instance, WinRAR you want to minimize to the system tray, place in system tray, and it moves over into the system tray. So you want to do that to iTunes 2, move place in the system tray, it's now in the system tray. If you don't want it in the system tray, just click it, and then right click it, I mean, and uncheck place in system tray, and oh, it comes back up here, it's magic, I know. Um, place in system tray again, and then you can go into edit options, to have all your options. So um, if you want to load tray it at startup of Windows XP so it's automatically running, you can go ahead and click that. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. And use single click on the tray icon. So if you just want to go up here and click once and it'll come up, make sure that's checked. And there's a lot of other options here that you can use. So yeah, if you just want to free up Whatever this is, and once you minimize this, it also goes to the system tray. And then, here's all your stuff. And then when it minimizes again, it will always go to the system tray.